hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video i will tell you the minimum curing time of column beam and slab okay so first of all let me tell you that what is curing okay so many students were asking me about uh, that uh, how much should be the curing time uh, what are the different process of curing of concrete okay so i am making video for you okay so guys uh, curing is the process in which the concrete kept moist to protect it from loss of moisture okay due to atmospheric temperature and hydration reaction okay guys when we prepare a concrete then uh, there will be a reaction in be uh, between the uh, chemical uh, of the concrete okay so this reaction produce heat and due to heat the water present in the concrete evaporated okay so if the water evaporated from the concrete then the concrete cannot take its full strength okay so uh, we have to provide external water in the concrete to prevent the water to get pro evaporated from the concrete okay guys i think you got the point about providing water in the concrete okay guys so what is curing in simple way if we talk about what is curing then uh, to provide water in concrete is known as curing okay so uh, water may evaporate from the concrete due to two reasons okay first of all one is atmospheric temperature outside temperature uh, outside environment okay and second is hydration reaction it means the reaction involved uh, inside the concrete okay now next point is why we need curing okay guys why we should provide curing to the concrete i already told you that uh, the hydration reaction place between the uh, concrete okay so after adding water to the concrete mix hydration start which makes the concrete to dry out quickly due to an exothermic reaction which release heat okay and next point is to complete the hydration process concrete is kept moist to attain the maximum strength of the concrete as soon as possible i have already uh, told you that uh, due to hydration uh, in inside the concrete the water evaporated to prevent it we have to provide uh, extra water in the concrete okay to get the maximum strength of the concrete now next point is the minimum curing time of the column beam and slab this is slab okay guys uh, all the uh, structure all the members are of concrete okay so the minimum period for curing of concrete either it may be column either it may be beam either it may be slab okay the minimum curing uh, period of the concrete should be how much days 28 days okay so let us see in this graph here you can see in 28 days the concrete has taken already uh, almost 99.9% .9 of its strength okay as the age of concrete increases the compressive strength also increases okay but in initial days till 28 days the strength of concrete uh, increases rapidly after that it goes slowly okay so uh, at 28 days it got almost 99.9% .9 of the strength of concrete okay so it will be better to provide curing till how much days 28 days okay so here it is written that the minimum period for curing concrete to attain maximum strength is how much 28 days as per is code 456 2000 concrete should not be cured less than seven days okay but in general uh, practically uh, guys uh, people are uh, do not uh, provide water in concrete more than seven days or 10 days or 15 days okay but actually we should provide curing till 28 days okay but uh, according to is code the curing should not be less than seven days okay for ordinary ordinary portland cement it must be at least how much 10 days in case of hot weather if the hot if the weather is hot if the environment is hot then the curing should not be less than 10 days okay uh, for opc and 14 days for concrete with blended cement and mineral admixture okay if we have used admixture in the concrete then we should not uh, provide curing less than 14 days okay guys but in my experience in my way of working uh, we should not cure any concrete less than 
14 days okay to get the maximum strength of the concrete now let us move to our next point the different method of curing okay there are various method of uh, curing but we use uh, about two to three method in general okay uh, in practically uh, when we construct a building then you use how much two to three method that are direct drain okay direct drain means to provide water directly on the concrete with the help of pipes or uh, any materials okay now ponding ponding is like this okay we provide a small height of the clay or a cement to resist water to flow from uh, another side okay and make it like a pond okay so this is known as what ponding okay and wet weathering or membrane curing is the process of wetting this jute bags and putting on the concrete okay where we have to provide curing okay this is known as wet covering or membrane curing and curing through an electric current infrared radius these types of uh, curing we generally do not use for a small project we have to use for a large project okay so uh, these types of uh, curing is uh, provided where the uh, there is no scarcity of electricity and uh, huge amount of curing has to be done okay guys so these are the different method of curing the minimum curing time of the concrete and why should we need curing so this much for today please like this video and subscribe this channel for new update about civil engineering thank you